Seven years we've been engaged in an epic struggle to rescue our country from the sinister forces within who hate it. They hate our country and who want to destroy it. Can be no other reason. These forces are far stronger than Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran, all put together. Think of that. From within is worse than from without. Because the right leader in America, if you have that leader, you're going to have no problems with those countries. We had no problems. We got it all straightened out. They understood. Would have never, ever had the problem with Russia, Ukraine. China right now is looking like they're going to do something, and they would have never even talked about it. Right now, however, they're putting us in the most dangerous position in the history of our country, and that's to a large extent because of the kind of weaponry we're talking that we're talking about. Together, we stand up to the globalists, we stand up to Marxists, we stand up to the rhinos. You know, the rhinos are pretty bad. Because with the rhinos, you don't exactly know where they're coming from. The others, you know, but with the rhinos, sometimes you find out. And we got to stand up to the rhinos, communists, and environmental extremists. You know, you have environmental extremists too. We stand up to the open borders fanatics, the radical left Democrats, their lawless partisan prosecutors. The prosecutors. Every time I fly over a blue state, I get a subpoena. We want him before the grand jury, and we stand up to the fake news media, which is seriously bad. And on November fifth, two thousand twenty-four, we're going to stand up to the corrupt political establishment. We're going to evict a totally corrupt president, Joe Biden, from the White House, and we're going to finish the job. That we started the most successful presidency. And I think, as everybody in this absolutely packed house knows, I've put everything on the line, and I will never yield. I never yield. I will never be deterred. I will never stop fighting for you. I didn't need this. I had a great life.、Uh, people said, "Would you do it again?" The answer is yes, because we're going to make America great again. We had it there, and then bad things happened. Bad things happened with an election, right? Bad, bad things happened. But we're going to make it、uh, great like never before. I really believe that. With your vote. We will take back our country from these fascists and thugs, and we will absolutely make America great again. From the beginning, our America First agenda has been an existential threat to the rotten political class that gets rich and powerful at your expense, erasing our borders, cheating on elections, exporting our jobs, and squandering our blood and treasure on endless. Foreign wars. We were out of all our wars. Everybody said when I got elected. Remember, oh, his personality. You're going to have wars. You're going to be fighting the whole world, and it just worked out. The actually, it was my personality that didn't want to make people fight. It was sort of reverse. First time in 70 years that this has happened. We started no wars. We finished some. We. Defeated the ISIS caliphate 100 percent and many other things. We've rebuilt our military. Of course, they gave a lot of it away, didn't they?、Huh? They gave a lot of our military away to Afghanistan, if you can even believe it. Afghanistan is now one of the largest exporters of military arms. They sell the things that we gave to them. 85 billion dollars. We lost 13 soldiers, many very horrifically wounded. And we left many Americans behind. They moved out the military first. No, it was supposed to be the opposite. You move out the military last. They've launched one hoax and witch hunt after another to try and stop our movement and thwart the will of the American people. Every time you am, not even believable. Witch hunt, witch hunt, scam, hoax. It's called election interference, and they're doing the best they can with it.
Because who the hell would vote for them with the policies that they have of open borders and no voter ID? As the Durham report, which just came out, proved, they spied on my campaign. Think of it. Can you imagine if it was the other way around? They spied on my campaign and we caught them. They forged false evidence to get illegal surveillance warrants. The FBI offered $1 million for a fictitious dossier written by a foreign spy to try to frame me for treason. They were saying, now they're trying to do it again. These people don't stop, and they're bad, and we have to get rid of them. We have to get rid of them fast. They put